Hello, Bill. Hello. This is Charlie Raymond. I'm the, the founder of the Kentucky Bigfoot Research Organization. Yeah. How are you? How are you doing, Charlie? I'm great. Um, I'm doing good. Our home base is right down the street from Stanton. Did you, did you know that? I didn't. No, I, I never really uh, heard of you guys before. I just thought when I saw this thing, I thought, you know, it's got to be. Uh, you know, I, I grew up in Lee County, uh, right in Zachariah, if you know where that's at. And uh, just just up the road from Slade. So I heard people, you know, say things over the years, but I'd never seen. So I've never really done any research on it before. But when I pulled you, pulled that up, uh, you guys came up and I joined your page. So you uh, you east or west of Stanton? Probably more east. You know, it's not too many miles from where I saw this thing. A, a lot of activity in that area? Not recent. There's historic accounts. Right. Yeah, I would. I would love to know if somebody else saw this. Uh, you know, the Mount, Mountain Parkway at at six thirty. Uh, you know, I, I guess at that six thirty, it was probably more like quarter to seven. It was. It was. It was light enough that you could definitely see in an open field, um, but it wasn't fully light yet. So, uh, not not many people on the roads that time of day on, on that part of the highway. This is in the morning, then, I take it. Yes, yes. So it was a foggy morning in the low areas. So I we had stopped and slayed. We'd come down 11, stopped and slayed, got a breakfast sandwich. And I think I was still eating that breakfast sandwich. That's, so it was definitely, you know, coming from Slade, going towards Stanton, not too far. Definitely past the fire department there on the, on the parkway. Next next time I go down there, which uh, I've, I've got, I grew up down there. I've got some property that would go pretty regular. I'll try to get a mile marker for you or something to better pinpoint it. I just wasn't uh, wasn't thinking about stopping at that point. I was just motoring on, but uh, I, I pretty much can uh, remember where it was at. It was a pretty pretty defined area. I'll have to check. Uh, do, are you familiar with with coming from Slade? I don't know how much you travel it, but coming from Slade, going towards Stanton, do you cross yeah. any other bodies of water besides the Red River? No, I, I think you cross the Red River multiple twice, times. Twice, at least. Twi yeah. Twice or three times. So it was right before a, a bridge that crossed uh, the river. Oh, as a matter of fact, I almost hit the bridge embankment because I was so concentrated on looking at this thing that the truck was veering off the road, you know? And which side of the road was it on? On, uh, I was headed, so it was on my right-hand side, on the passenger side of the truck, uh, in a field. Uh, these, these fields were laid out with, uh, you know, like a field, like hay field, then a, then a finger of woods, and then another hay field, and a finger of woods. And, uh, actually, uh, Somebody had stacked up real nice some round bales, and the way the fog was hitting them was kind of cool. And I was looking over that direction, and then this creature caught my eye, and I looked had to look or hard right to see it, but it was definitely, you know, I, I couldn't give you exact color, definitely dark in color, you know, very tall, very furry. You could kind of see its fur. It wasn't. It was probably. Um, 75 yards from me so it wasn't far enough that i couldn't make out its profile and its its poofiness you know of fur and it's walking into the woods um upright you know kind of hunched over a bit mm. um so i wish i had more for you but that's that's all i have and i, I put that post up there hoping Somebody else in the area there maybe seen something, just not said something, you know. But of course, they might know about not know about your page either. Yeah. Um, Can you tell uh, me yeah. uh, how how fast were you driving? Oh uh, well, uh, Parkway at uh, six thirty or probably seventy. Yeah, and when you saw it, when you first saw it, was it just? in the field walking or did it come out of the woods or like when you first saw it, it, was, it was going into the woods uh it was it was probably 25 to 50 feet off the wood line walking into the wood line so 
had it been more out in the middle of the field, I probably couldn't, you know, dic- dictate that it was actually going into the woods. But from the distance it was from the woods, I could actually see it closing distance on the woods. And was it walking um, per- perpendicular to you, or was it walking away from you, or, tor- or yeah, yeah, away from you? It was walking not not away, not to right with me. So perpendicular. Uh, more perpendicular. So, did you notice anything particular about the way it walked? Just. Um, not anything in particular other than mass, you know, just big, the way it would move, kind of um, shoulder, shoulder, leg. you know, one or two steps is all I saw. So I, I couldn't probably dig that deep into that and be accurate. And there was daylight, right? It was, was the sun yeah. up? The yeah. sun was up when it was that time in the morning when you're, when the open areas are starting to get lit, but the wood lines are darker, you know, it was, I mean, it wasn't bright, sunshiny morning now, but, uh, it was, uh, definitely light, uh, light enough that, uh, that I could see. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, uh, my, my son asked me if I hit my head, he was asleep and, uh, I had <laughs> fallen and knocked my shoulder out of joint, uh, about, half an hour before that and he said dad you hit your head <laughs> i don't think so Zach. <laughs> that's funny um and how long did you watch it for how many seconds i would say a total five seconds no more than that i mean it doesn't take long at 70 miles an hour to you know to to come to come go out of view uh right. but no no more than five seconds and and where this was, what, did you notice a house nearby or a vehicle or anything that could? Nothing. Uh, matter of fact, I, again, when I when I get back down there, I'm going to get you a mile marker. But it was, you know, it's one of those areas of the parkway that there's just nothing. Uh, there, I didn't see a light from a house. Uh, even further back in the wood, you know, in, in the back of one of those, it's just a farm fields, no house, uh, no no vehicles around me, no no nothing. All right. Well, that's um. Sounds like you might have seen one based on everything you're uh, saying. Might, might have, uh, you know. Like I said, I was kind of hoping for some. Uh, for some encouragement from other folks that they thought maybe they saw something, you know, if it's, if it's moving in that area, hopefully somebody else uh, has seen it as well, uh, just to kind of confirm. But, uh, you know, I, I spent a lot of time in the woods of Kentucky. I grew up there and, I, and still when I go back and I've heard a lot of things and seen a lot of things that I didn't know what they were. And so I, uh, but I, I not say I'm I'm not a believer in Bigfoot. I just never seen anything to give me a reason to you know to believe it. Uh, matter of fact, there's a there's a creature, uh, and I'm going to have to go listen to some of the sounds that these these animals make. That since my great grandfather's generation uh, been passed on to all of us, that scared us all in the house many a times down there. And Zachariah, and we we always called it a wee John because we didn't know what it was. We never saw it. We, we've heard it a lot. Um, it sounds more like a cat, but um, I've heard these things make all kinds of different noises. Yeah. Yeah, Lee County, I've got some Bigfoot reports in Lee County as well. And I've got reports throughout that area, throughout Powell County and the uh, right. and neighboring counties, I've got probably a dozen reports over the years. Right. Throughout. And um, yeah. so... If, reason, if you've got a dozen, you know, there's another couple dozen out there that hadn't said anything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't had any recent ones, so yours is going to be the most recent one by far. And the reason okay. why I, just, I didn't... Uh, we didn't uh, post your or 
uh, post your report on the page yet because I wanted to talk to you. Right. Uh, I wanted right. to get out for the people. Do. We live right down the street. We literally live um, another exit past Stanton in Clay City. So, oh yeah. This is, so we, you know, we want to go out there and try to find tracks. So we didn't want well, to post would... in the group for other people, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would, um, I could pull up a map and and look, but I think it's the first. Um, if you're coming from Clay or from Slade, going toward Clay City, it it was a bridge. It might be a little creek or something that runs through there. You know, it might not have been the Red River. I don't know that for a fact. Uh, I don't think it well, I don't think it was a river because the way those fields were laid out, um, I feel like it so if you if you go look, um see if you if you cross a creek or, or maybe maybe uh, uh somebody's farm access road or something like that besides the river, uh before you um yeah. would cross the river. And you said and, you saw and the before you crossed the river, like because you were going to hit the the guardrail or something. Right. Yeah, it was. You know how the guardrail goes to that concrete. Uh, yeah. You know the bridges have that concrete guardrail, and right. um, I, you know, to to help you locate it, if you are traveling um, from from Slade to uh, to Clay City, and you see that bridge, I uh, can tell you that. And it happened so fast. I don't. I, I don't remember if those round bales that were kind of facing catty corner, facing the highway, um, were were in a field right next to a little finger of woods, and then there was a smaller field that this this was in. So that if you find an area that similar to that, um, of course that explains about half of eastern Kentucky probably. So that doesn't help much, but. Hopefully, hopefully um, you so, could find a, a footprint. So I know the fire station on the left you're talking about. Past that. Station. Past, Past that. that, yeah. yeah. Right, you get to the, the bridge there. You saw it on the other side of the bridge, the other side of the creek or whatever it was. It, it, it would be the, on, the, uh, on the Slade side of the bridge. Oh, it was before the bridge, then. Yeah, yeah, I had saw it and was trying to get a better look when I almost ran a truck into the uh, bridge. So definitely before the bridge. I see. So it was before the bridge in a little patch of woods where the hay, 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 hay bells were, or not that field where the hay bells were, and the next little field. Yeah, so let's let's play it coming from Slade. So if you're coming from Slade, uh, you're first going to come to a field that I saw the creature in. Then there's going to be a finger of woods. And then the next field has the hay bales in it. And what I can't remember is if I crossed that, if the hay bales were on the other side of the bridge or not. I can't remember that much. So uh, okay, I would so imagine. It was before the hay bales. Before the hay bales, yeah, on the slate side. A little patch of uh, a little field and it wasn't a it wasn't a large pasture um that particular piece that the field with the hay bale the hay rounds in it the big round bales uh, was was a large field this was not that big okay and from the road you think now you said 75 yards from the vehicle coming how far was yeah. it back to the road where you were same about 75 yards. well well you got you know you got the uh, the embankment let's go from like the guardrail embankment probably 50 yards off that embankment down okay. in the flat so if there's exactly. a little i'm sure there's a hill there that goes and then it flattens out so if you kind of kind of guess it about 50 60 yards off of that guardrail um, nice so what day was this again? I forgot. Su- Sunday morning. This this past Sunday morning. This, this this past Sunday morning. Okay. Um. Wow. I, I might contact you again 
But what we yeah. want to do, I really don't want to put it in the group yet. Because okay. Because I, I don't want people to go out there and, so to speak, I, oh, I want yeah. us to do an investigation. Now that I know where it's at, we might drive out there and look for tracks because it's so close to where we live. Right. Yeah, I would love to know if you found the tracks or some kind of evidence that it busted through the wood line or mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, I would love yeah. to know. I'll keep, I'll keep you posted. Um, that's exciting. So, what do you, if you don't mind me asking, what is your age? I'm 47. 47. And um, you, you lived in Kentucky. Now you live in Ohio? Right. Yep. I left Kentucky when I was 17 and went in the Army and met my wife there from Ohio. And we've lived here ever since I got out of the Army. Okay. Well, thank you for your service. Um, oh, thank you. Um, oh, my wife wants to ask her question. She's here. Okay. Well, hey, Billy. I'm Lindsay. Hi. 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 Nice. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's great to hear your encounter. Um, and even more exciting because we actually live in Clay City. It's so close to us. Um, yeah. It's very, very exciting for us. Um, well, I, and we, uh, it's, it's exciting for me, and I hope you guys go out there and find something. Yeah, we will definitely get out there and see what we can find. Um, now, um, I don't know if Charlie asked you, we, were you able to um, see a color of the creature? Did Not particularly what? a color, no. I, you know, it, it was, it was not fully light uh, it was light enough to see uh you know movement and and you could tell what things were you know you could see the the trees and the shapes of the trees but not light enough for me to see other than i can tell you it was a dark color uh, uh definitely yeah. not a light color um right now, so, how, uh, how did you feel when you saw this Oh, like I told your husband, I've grown, I grew up in the woods of Kentucky and I still spent a lot of time there. And I've heard and seen a, a lot of things and uh, I, I, did, I just felt like, wow, there really is maybe something out there like this, you know, it's, it's kind of how I felt, not, not afraid or anything like that or not surprised. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see most anything in those hills, to be honest with you. <laughs> Right, yeah. Um, now, what's your um, knowledge of Bigfoot or... Um, none, none. Uh, uh, my, my knowledge of it is just little bits and pieces I've heard over the years from family or friends of family that, you know, maybe thought they saw this or or heard it or something, something... Um, you know, um, was maybe trying to communicate with them in some way. I, just little stories. I, I have no interaction that I know of with anything like that uh, yeah. before, uh, other than maybe some of the ha- sounds I've heard. I, I was telling your husband, you know, we have a a creature down in Lee County that uh, that people have been calling the Weed John for well, a long time since my great grandfather's days, I know at least. Uh, and all we've ever done is heard it. We've never seen it, so we can't pinpoint what it is. So it's just it makes it all the more exciting for me, at least, because you know you're not kind of engrossed in the Bigfoot kind of mindset, so that you're out no. there looking for the, any kind of preconceptions. This thing appeared for you at the side of the road and it was unexpected reported what you saw and that makes it all the more like I said exciting I'm, I'm so much looking forward to trying to get out there and see if we can find any tracks yeah. that the way. ground definitely, definitely should be wet enough right now to... we, yeah. we might go out there tonight <laughs> awesome awesome keep me posted I would, I would love to hear if you find something or or hear of somebody else that maybe uh, reaches out to you that, in the same area, you know? Yeah. And, sure. and what we'll do is we'll hold off uh, putting your report in the group until we could um, do an investigation. And then what we'll do is we'll post the full 
report with a follow-up. And that way we'll put it in the group and then anybody that might have seen something might come forward. Right. So. Right. It's All right. Very close yeah, to home. Yeah, it, it um, is. And I, I know this is your guys' – uh, you know, this is your thing. I really hope that uh, that you find something. Yeah, we do too. And thank you so very much. And we'll definitely be in contact. I know we're, we're going to have more questions for you. Okay. All right. Uh, and and I will try to uh, give you a, a – you know, you can go – out tonight if you want based on the information I gave you, but when I get a chance, I'll give you a better location. Okay, yes, thank you. That would help. All right, thank you. All right, thanks. Have a nice night. No, you too.